obviously we get these, these views, this is a shrapnel view, so it's actually a, a, kind of a timer really, but it's solid brass, quite a, it's quite a heavy, heavy lump. Christopher Bennett started life as a photographer, but an operation to unearth a crashed World War II hurricane in central London got him interested in military excavation, and this led indirectly to today's ambitious plan to make nearly 20,000 commemorative poppy pins out of World War I shells. Every single shell that was fired during the Battle of the Somme, and there are millions of them, had a brass shell fuse. And basically, we're recovering those, melting them down, and transforming them, uh, swords into plowshares style, into these, these commemorative pins. So they're actually made of metal from the battlefield. But also, they have earth from the battlefield as well, because we've been out there and we've, we've um, acquired earth from different locations along the old 1st July 1916 British front line, and mixing that with red enamel, which is going in the centre of the poppy. The Battle of the Somme had an enormous impact on the British public. There were high expectations of victory after a heavy shelling campaign, but the big push was far from successful. The whistles blew and, and uh, men went over the top, and 19,240 casualties on that first day alone. Uh, by the end of the, the Somme campaign, a million, over a million people, uh, British service personnel killed. Creating the poppy pins is a painstaking process which took Christopher back to the Western Front, where he used digitised versions of old trench maps to pinpoint the exact location of the British front line and to search for the shell fuses. Oh, there's a fuse. This is a British impact fuse. It's quite a rare find nowadays, actually, to be honest, because the, uh, the farmers plough most of these up. So it's, it's really nice to find one, to know exactly where it came from. This one's actually in very, very good condition. Historic piece, very historic piece. Taking these 100-year-old shell fuses from the battlefield where they were found in France to this busy West London foundry is the first step on their journey to being reincarnated as one of these special edition poppy pins. First, they're sandblasted to remove any residual dirt from the battlefield. And then they're heated to 1,060 degrees centigrade in a furnace, and the molten metal is poured into specially created moulds. It's an unusual activity. I, I don't know of any other foundry that does quite this sort of thing. And uh, it's interesting as well, you know, knowing that you're participating in, in this commemorative activity. And from a technical point of view, um, working with this sort of metal, does that present any issues? Um, only if there were any explosives left. <laughs> Once the fuses are recast into brass rods, they're taken to a specialist jewellers in Birmingham, ready to be reworked into jewellery pieces. You start with a, a wax impression of a piece, and uh, that has to go through two or three different incarnations to become uh, a casting, as you can see from here. But um, I'm fascinated by it because it's... Uh, it's, it's a, a sacrificial process. Each piece has to be made individually and um, you have to be on the money every time otherwise it's a, it's a scrap piece. And this is the most amazing part of the whole process for me when I see we take this old metal and we re, re, it's reborn into these poppies and to actually see the first can being revealed, phoenix-like, into poppies is just an amazing experience. For the Royal British Legion, the story of the metal and the power of that link with history is what appealed to them about this project. It's a really powerful way to remember. Um, the provenance of the metal, the history and the knowledge of where it comes from, uh, really adds uh, great poignancy to it. I've been explaining this to a range of people, virtually in tears as they understand. Um, my grandfather fought on the Western Front and to my mother, this is very, very important. Uh, and so we were to find a suitable way that people could commemorate and show their respect for uh, those who fought in the Somme. Uh, it's a superb uh, piece of jewellery. And it's not just the brass that comes from the battlefield. On his visits to France, Chris has collected earth from the British front line, which he brings back to the UK and grinds down so it can be added to the red enamel in the centre of the pins. When you handle this earth, Somehow, you imagine a hundred years ago, the earth would have, you know, the, the ground would have been covered in dead and dying men and went through their minds and so on. Um, although it's just earth and it's no different to anywhere else in that area, it's the story behind it. 
19,240 of these poppy pins are being made, a number chosen to represent all those who died on the first day of the Somme. And anyone who buys one in this special anniversary year will be helping the Legion to raise funds for today's veterans and serving soldiers in need of help. Rosie Layden, Forces News.